come on down to Lizard's Good Plates. <laughs> Jay. You're ruining the shot, Jay. No, okay, so I'm just gonna make a skid plate for... Uh, what year is this? That one is an 09. An 09 Mitsubishi Lancer. So step one, we're gonna be mounting this skid plate to the car. First things first, we need something for the front of the skid plate to mount to. Because there's nothing here that's like really like lower than the oil pan and we want something across the front of the car in this general vicinity so that if the car lands really hard on the front it doesn't push the skid plate up or push anything up into the oil pan because you don't want to dent the oil pan. In order to do that we need a skid plate and to get the skid plate there we need this bar across here and I'm gonna make that. I need a mounting point right here somewhere from there down, probably about six inches. So I need a piece of metal that's 31 inches here, and then I'm gonna have to make some standoffs. Of the skid plate. I'm gonna try to make a miter cut. The way I want to do it is I want it to be like so it's like one piece of tube underneath but I'm cutting it in angled sections. I'm just doing a 45 and a 45 and you have to make sure that the angles are like this the right way so that it makes a trapezoid shape. Typically, if I was doing this, I would actually lay out the holes on this first and then drill them in the skid plate after. But since this is a skid plate from another car and it already has the holes, I'm going to use a really awesome trick and I'm not going to have to use my tape measure at all. All I need is stuff that I'm using for the skid plate and some spray paint. So I just want to make sure that I get tubing as close to the line where this is bent, the brake mark. See that line there? It's a tooling mark. I want this bar to sit as close to that as possible and that's gonna give me the best idea of where this sits. I got it set up where I want it. And now, rather than like trying to measure or lay out holes or whatever, I'm just going to take a can of spray paint and get underneath it, and just very lightly. I'm trying to be very, very light with this, because if you spray too hard, it's gonna go like underneath there, and then it makes like a big fat mark, and you have no idea where you actually need to put your holes. So this is marked now. As you can see, this spray paint's still a little bit wet. But it doesn't need to dry, I just need to put holes in it. Okay, step one was measuring and laying everything out. Step two was actually cutting the material. Step three is going to be, after we marked our holes, drilling these holes out. Step four, we're gonna weld this together with some other pieces that I still have to cut for the legs. Step five is welded on the car. And step six is bolting the skid plate to the car. And then we're done. Fun, fun, fun. Fun on a bun. Voila. These are weld nuts, right? They're just threaded little inserts that go in here and then you weld around it and then you have like a place to put a bolt in.
So I just got this tack together and I'm going to test fit it on the car and see what I think. It looks pretty good. Looks really good actually. I like that a lot. And I think I'm just going to weld it out. Close that gap up a little bit. <laughs> so I got the cross member for the skid plate welded on the car and it needs a little uh, paint on it so that it doesn't rust and you just take a little rattle can and just go to town. putting the rear mounting points for the skid plate. And basically, how I do this is I find some holes that are up in this subframe, and then I set the weld nuts on top of here, and then I just basically like push this up, and go, okay, they land somewhere inside those holes that are pre-existing. And then once again, I take spray paint, Mark the holes. Trusty dusty spray paint. And then let's take everything apart again. It's like all I do all day long is just like put stuff together and then take it back apart and then put it back together and then take it back apart and then bang on it with a hammer and then put it back together and then I'm like, it's custom. Now I'm going to put the car in the air and demonstrate the serviceability aspect of this skid plate design by taking it off the car and putting it back on. So the skid plate is done, everything looks good. Now I'm going to prep this car for the next rally course and comment below and let me know what you think of my skid plate uh, and also what you want to see next. Where the f is my red hammer? In the drawer with the rest of the mm hammer? -hmm. Come on Jay. I wouldn't think we'll fair. Come on Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, what did I say? We fixed it and it's brand new. I don't know. I can say that. I can totally say that.